Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we will be looking at the Warlord Games Project Z starter box. So this is a two-player starter set for their game uh, Project Z, which is a zombies-based miniature post-apocalyptic game. It's a skirmish game. Now this will run you 8960 and it is not a buy for everyone. If you are interested in playing zombie games, where you play a survivor faction fighting another sur survivor faction, and zombies wander in and around and attack you, uh, this is the game you're looking for. The other selling case is this is very clearly a intro skirmish game. So if you want to move into uh, wargaming and you're looking for an entry point, this is a good one. And the reason I say that is I have before you the rules right there. And the rules are 11 pages. Well, yeah, 11 pages, the back doesn't count. So you got your rule book. These are your scenarios for your games, okay? And then they come with two reference cheat sheets double-sided right there. So, you can see right here, very thin rule book. So what this reminds me of, if you play Zombicide, but you say, you know what, this is a little too board gamey, I want something that's war gamey, then this is the set for you. Now, let's talk about the miniatures here. You're going to get 20 uh, zombies, 10 will be male, 10 will be female, and then later on videos we'll look closer at the sets. Then you get um, what's known as the male survivors. You get 10 male survivors. Um, and you get six bikers. And the reason you get six bikers is there two are on motorcycle, four um, haven't earned their cut, and so they're still walking around um, without motorcycles. Now, you should note that they sell sets for um, male survivors and bikers, um, box sets, and those come a little bit um, larger. Uh, basically, these are the male survivors and the uh, biker gang uh, minus the a command sprue. And in later videos, we'll show you that. So it's a good collection of miniatures. And even if you want, didn't want to buy into the expansions, if you play something like Drug War C or um, Last Days from Osprey Games, um, this would be a good starter set to get you uh, into playing those games. So this actually makes sense as you want to learn how to war game, buy this. You learn how to play a skirmish war game, then you get last days, play that. If you want something that's really crunchy, then you can move into Drug War Z. So good entry level, and it comes with all the tokens you need for the game, all the cards, and all the dice. And honestly, at $90 for 40 miniatures, you're basically paying uh, less than $250 a miniature. And they are decent uh, miniatures here. Um, Wish they came with a little bit more variety, a little bit more interchangeability, but we'll talk about that later. And if you're ready to soup up the op your options, because you only get one set of white dice, don't forget they sell Project Z dice separately. You don't have to get them, but if you're playing two players, you want different color dice, so you don't have to share. All right, so let's go and see what this book box looks like when you open it up. So when you first get your box, this is how it'll come. I already took the shrink wrap off. So you'll open up some dead space in here and let us thank Morella for packaging it. So you can see you get some extra bases plus bases on the frame for our sets here. Looks like that card is loose. We got our die see how many frames we have. So we have four frames and these appear. Yep, there's the biker gang and the zombies and uh, female zombies and what's the last one here? Uh, Apocalypse survivors. So that's four gangs. That checks out. One frame each and looks like an arm fell off one of the frames, that happens. So we have building instructions for each faction there. Ah, we have 
two helpful game sequence. Very thin rule manual. Survivor's Guide for Dummies. Now here's all the tokens. Not the most advanced box. And so let's get the cards here. So that appears to be everything. Simple ruler. Um, all the little accoutrement with it. All right. It looks like everything survived except an arm came loose from the frame. So good on that. Good job, Morella. So in the final assessment here, um, the Project Z box set at $90 makes sense for two reasons. Uh, first, the primary reason as a all-contained introduction to miniature wargaming um, at the skirmish level. So uh, two players, $45 a piece. Um, you've got everything you need to find out if this is something you want to do. Now, I recommend once you play this game, then you can decide, do I want to get deeper into Project Z, or do I want to repurpose these minis into some other game? Because they do make uh, good 28mm miniatures for other modern and ultra-modern war games. Now, uh, that leads us into our second point of why you would want to buy this box set, is at less than 2 dollars and fifty cents for uh, plastic uh, miniatures with uh, some degree of customizability in uh, your zombies and in uh, your protagonist factions that is a good buy for this quality of um, plastic so uh, at the end of the day if you enjoy zombies and you enjoy playing uh, fast and quick games this is the one for you now, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.